Hi, today we're going to be talking about how to find or calculate derivatives on the TI Inspire CX CAFs. Um, go ahead and if you have a, a lot of information here, go ahead and get rid of it. Document 110. And we're going to start off by taking the derivative in, in, in the calculator mode here. So many of you guys have already seen this. Um, next to the number 9, you have a template, your derivative. You put an x there, you type in the equation that you want. Let's do something simple, x squared, enter. Let's suppose I want something a little bit more complicated. x here, x times sine of x. You do need the multiplication symbol, enter. Let's say I want the derivative and I want to evaluate at a value, let's say, Three or something like that. Um, there's two ways. The the easiest way is actually to go menu, calculus, derivative at a point. The variable is x, and I think I said the value is going to be three. Okay. And let's say the function is x to the fifth power. So. The TI Inspire already has a template to take the derivative and evaluate at a, at a value that we choose. Um, we can do the same thing though. So we can pull up uh, this problem, for example. I just have to find that little vertical bar. So if you look over here underneath the equal sign, vertical bar, or evaluate x equals 6, 7. So this will take the derivative of x squared and plug in 7 immediately. And there's 14. Let's suppose I want to take um, the derivative of a function that contains x's and y's, implicit differentiation. Go to menu, calculus, implicit differentiation. Uh, let's do x squared plus y squared is equal to 9, comma. The first thing here has to be the y value. So I just type in y, comma. The next one is the dependent variable x, and enter. And there's our derivative. How would I evaluate um, at a point? Probably the easiest way would be to go up, enter, evaluate when x equals, let's say, 2, and let's see if this works, y equals 3. Let me get space here. And that's it. So you can you can do that. I can also define it. So let's go to menu, actions, define. I want to define this guy. Actually, let's type in f of x comma y equals. So now, if I want to find the value of 2, 3, I can actually just should be able to type in f 2, comma, 3. And I get the same value. So that's how to take the derivative of a function, uh, product rule, evaluate at a point, both using the menu and to actually type in the evaluate yourself. What about in the graphing mode? So go ahead and pull up a graph. Let's do something simple like square root of x. Enter. And I want to find the derivative at 2. Menu. Analyze graph. Derivative. And it's asking, where do you want to take the derivative of? Um, never ever use this feature because you can see the decimals, you know, if I want to get 0.3, it's going to be very hard for me to get 0.3 because it's, there's 
some of the decimal spots. So just type in, I think I said two actually. Enter. And there's my drip exactly at two. So those are all the ways you can find a derivative on the TI Inspire CX CAS. Um, obviously, if you're in the graphing screen and you need the derivative, you might just want to do it here. If you're on your main calculator, you have multiple options of finding the derivative.